Like, I know it says census on the envelope, mm-hmm. but I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to be doing with it or, like, what, other than counting people, what it does. I don't want to feel like because I don't do anything to help my community. I still be seeing people be get shot, stuff that's happening in the community, and they say they're going to do this and that, but I don't see it. But you still want us to do, put out a census form, and you're just saying that you're going to help the community, but you're not. Lying, basically. Yeah. <laughs> But that piece of paper with that count, I can, I, I look at it as just a little piece of paper that's going down the drain. Doesn't prove anything. You saying if you're male or female. That's Black it. Your one. age. Like it's this. not helping. It's not saying what we're going. <laughs> I mean, I think it's a form of recognition. If if folks don't really feel like full participants or like feel recognized or even maybe feel human all the time walking around in their lives, then it's like. This small form of recognition is like, I exist. I count against like a whole set of things. In particular, I would say an economic system that really doesn't care if you live or die. You know, voting is similar. Not that I would ever, you know, take back the bravery of people like Fannie Lou Hamer who fought for my right to vote, but I think that it's a similar a similar moment of reinvesting in this small form of recognition that I don't think can take the place of like what it feels like for me to be recognized exactly. by you or like by you to be like to really be part of a community where people where people know who I am and care what happens to me. I just kinda of feel the same like by voting. My my vote won't really matter like like it's so many like it ain't a really big difference, it's like a little fraction. It's just like voting because sometimes their votes don't count, like they want this person to win. I could almost be cool with census just for North Carolina and Durham. Like, people on the north side need some of this. People on the south side need some of this. But it's like, no one says, oh, Rita and her family need help. Or John has a deceased wife and he has four kids and he needs help. It's more like... And number two, 25,000 right. on block C right. Right. has some complaints. Right. And I don't even know if there's a place to write in complaints. I think it's just like, no complaints. Who lives here? Would it matter? Would you fill it out if there was a space on the form that's, that let you write everything that you felt like you yeah. needed? No, because it wouldn't be enough for me to, uh, I couldn't put everything that I'm, that, uh, that, I'm support that uh, me and my community needed. It wouldn't be enough. I don't think it'll be enough. Enough space? Yeah. Cause I'm going to go all out. I'm going to speak my mind truthfully. Which is what? Speak yeah. your mind now. I'm going to send this to the president. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I need food. I need clothes. I need shelter. Education. I need education. I need said food. we need support. And what I mean by support is like somebody that's going to at least try to be there for us. You know what I mean? Like, not by judging us, because that's what we do all the time. Fix up the community, help the homeless people, you know what I'm saying? Put people in homes that, that really need it. You can build a skate park, but you can't, you can't, you can't get nobody no little light on a little side street where you can't see it. I think the team sent us to get everybody out the street, because, like, whenever you ride anywhere, you always see kids playing around. If they ain't in no public housing or anything, they out in the streets playing around, so they need more team centers. Okay. They need better housing for those kids. No, I'm saying if we get homework centers in every hood, then it'll make people want to do their homework more. If I see some girls going and they're doing their homework, then I'm going to want to do it and they do my homework just to talk to them. I would like just a general shit like if they could give me a sheet of the, like with the check boxes all over it and that said things like employment. Do you need employment? Like like uh, what do you need? How can we help you portion of the show? Because like there are so many things that are needed and like that go beyond me being female and 19. Grass. We don't got no bricks. Yeah, we ain't even got grass. We got dirt. Concrete. We got dirt. We ain't even got grass. The government is asking too many questions. Now we stressing as the people. People feeling neglect, keeping our heads up high while we still in recession. If we don't get counted, this shit's getting made for us, about us, but not by us.
Worried about the property and the population. Starvation is among us. Help us speak the nation. Not knowing who to trust and you're asking why the government is taking everything. And that's the reason why you can't see what I see. So I'm calling the shut eye. It's all here by and there by. Tell you it is the sense that I ain't going to never prove nothing. At least the last verse. Have we given them a fair count? Everybody in this country, they can give us a fair Share. Share. And, and that so that takes a huge amount of trust, like that you know that just because of my name and my age and my race, that you know what I need. When a lot of people who know a lot more about me For still real, might not know, know what, what I need, still should ask me what I need, right? Or people I know a whole bunch of details about them. I still wouldn't assume, okay, well they need this, 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 and this to have to have life that functions, you know, like it still takes that step of asking. I'd rather for them to come to my house. They so are gonna sit, come to your house. So we can sit down and talk. That's what I'd rather for them to do. Not the sound so we can sit down and talk. I look at uh, it's just a simple thing they asking you, just like everybody's in school again. Just like if your teacher asks you one thing, you do it, write your name on the paper, just do it. They asking you just to tell you how many people you got in your family, I guess boy, male, tell the age and whatever, and all you got to do is just send it back. What's so hard about that? That's something simple to do and get it over with. So they need to do it. I mean, I would do it just to see what's going to happen. Everybody needs to fill it out. It doesn't matter what you have, what's going on. They need to fill it out. But the government or whoever is telling people this stuff really should just come through with what it's saying. Yeah. If Obama told me to do it, now I'd do it. If Obama said I still, to do it. He's going he gonna to have to give me a reason nah, he, me to I fill mean, out it. This is present. I do it. I mean, and I, I, but I think that what would, what would have people see an impact would be like some next steps. If it was like, you know, here's the stuff about like education, here's the stuff about like food, here's the stuff about, you know, and like, like I actually fill this out and like take it to a place where maybe I'm only really concerned about one of these 12 categories, like health and food and education, and you know, but like, then there's a place where it's like, okay, here's this information about my situation, and here I can go be with the other people who are in my community who also prioritize this, and there's like a real, if it's a town hall meeting, if it's a dialogue, if it's like we then are the people who whatever, go go outreach about this particular issue and what the needs are in our community in a more robust way. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I think that that would, I think that that would have, have an impact if people felt like they had a voice. I think I have ideas about, like, how, what life means to me and how the world could be and my vision for my community and who I'm accountable to including my family of birth and my chosen family. And I think that, um, yeah, I have a lot to say about that, that I want, I want my community to hear. Okay, so who's gonna make your community, if, you, if it's not the census or the government, who, who's, who's gonna make it better? We can do it, I mean, we can do it as people. We don't have to wait nobody to make our, make our community better. Yeah, you can do it. So what you gonna do? That's what I just said. You. So we, you, yeah. I go around. I do it anyway. I go around picking up trash, all that. I do. I help my community. I do. What about y'all? Y'all knew what you talking about? Yeah.